than any other tissue of the body. They're the most dynamic systems in the body in terms of repair and regeneration. The skin and the digestive system, and that is such good news because it means while it's true that all the components of the body are going to repair themselves and all the components of the body regenerate themselves and all the components of the body heal themselves, the skin and the digestive system do it faster than any other part of the body. Thus, the relevance of vitamin anabolic. Thus, the relevance of vitamin A. Thus, the importance of plain old vitamin A, which is your primary building vitamin. In terms of moisturizing the skin, last program we talked about how, how uh, a dry skin is a billion dollar business. Almost everybody has dry skin and nothing says poor health. Nothing says poor skin health more clearly than dry skin. Dry skin is a skin health issue and ultimately it's an internal health issue. Anybody who says just put this moisturizing cream on your skin knows nothing about the skin when it comes to making your skin moist. There isn't a moisturizer on the planet, just like there's no drug on the planet, just like there's no device or no doctor strategy on the planet that can make your skin truly moist and hydrated because it comes from the inside. It comes from nutrition. In terms of moisturizing the skin, truly, and I don't even like the word moisturizer. That's a fraud word. That's a marketing word. You're not going to moisturize the skin because that means you're putting moisture on the skin and moisture is water. So if you want to moisturize the skin, the only moisturizer is really going to be water. How can you really moisturize the skin with wax and oil and preservative, perfume and, and essential oils, etc.? You can't. In terms of maintaining soft, hydrated, youthful skin tissue, vitamin A is a primary secretory vitamin, meaning it improves secretions. This is true whether we're talking about digestive juice secretions. Vitamin A is important for the digestive system. This is true whether we're talking tears. If you have dry eyes or a dry respiratory tract, vitamin A is a secretory vitamin for respiratory secretions and for tears. And vitamin A is a secretory vitamin for skin moisturization. It helps build the elements that are inherent in the skin that keep the skin soft and moist and hydrated. All the things we love about the skin. And by the way, that means topically as well as internally. This is so cool. Now, uh, under ordinary circumstances, you're not going to be able to do much topically, but there's exceptions, and that's vitamins and also essential fats. And even topical cholesterol, yes. Topical cholesterol can help heal the skin and help protect the skin and help support the production of natural moisture factors, putting cholesterol on the skin topically. How do you put cholesterol on the skin topically? Well, use my Truth Treatment products because our omega, or particularly our Omega-6 Healing Cream, our Omega-6 Healing Cream that you'll find on truthtreatments.com is made with cholesterol. My true serum also includes some cholesterol as well. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Those are my new truth, tr truth treatment products. Or you can check out my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben, where we post regularly about skincare topics. Okay. We're coming back with your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. And if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products that you hear recommended or advertised on the program, you can uh, call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or if you like, you can call the Critical Health News team at 855-949-7234. You can also uh, purchase products right off of brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com, or you can call the phone team and they can tell you all about it, 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team, too, for a one-time uh, $25 fee, I guess now. It used to be a $10 fee. Now it's $25 fee. In any case, for a one-time fee, you can get your products at the wholesale price and start yourself a longevity business, spreading the word, helping spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be and make some money at the same time. 866-735-2470 uh, is their number. Today, uh, our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about vitamin A and then we'll talk about vitamin C, which is also a growth molecule, also a good times molecule and also a secretory molecule. And along with vitamin A, 
the one of the two most important vitamins for the skin, vitamin A and vitamin C. Later on we'll talk about zinc and then we'll talk about essential fats, all that has to do with skin. But remember, it's not just skin, it's the whole body, not just the skin. We're not we're talking uh, we're, we're we're talking specifically about the skin, but keep in mind that the skin is reflective, the health of the skin is reflective of the health of the entire body. So the strategies that we're using to build the skin to keep the skin healthy, to keep the skin soft and hydrated and youthful looking are going to be the same strategies for keeping the body healthy and youthful looking as well. We'll continue that tomorrow on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Sean, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's going on, man? I've got a eight-year-old daughter. Uh, she's about 60 pounds and she's struggled with constipation. Her whole life, probably. Yes, probably yes. since potty trainer even maybe earlier no it comes from birth she, was she uh, was she breastfed yep how healthy is mom um she's got uh, high blood pressure Take some okay medication for that um, okay well all of that's connected i'm not i'm not saying that okay. to rip on rip yeah. on anybody no, i get it i okay, get it good. i want to okay. know everything and she's, okay here's well, here, well that's here's created some wedding issues and things like that too here's what you need to do okay constipation is a sign of a, a freaked out uh, digestive tract you know you've heard of the fight or flight reaction right you ever hear those terms fight or flight mm -hmm. which you don't often hear fight or flight represent a body in distress the body will either fight the stress or the emergency or the survival threat or it will flee the survival threat. They call that fight or flight. But what they don't often tell you is that there's a third element to the survival threat, and that's the freeze response. So really, it's not just fight or flight. It's really fight, flight, or freeze. Or you can think of it the deer in the headlights response. When a deer doesn't know what to do, if it's crossing the road and a car is about to hit it, it's not going to flee and it's not going to fight. It's going to freeze, and that's called the deer in the headlights look. And that's essentially what happens when you're constipated. The body is frozen. The digestive tract is frozen. It doesn't want to move. Now sometimes it doesn't want to move because it's so inflamed and irritated that any movement is going to cause problems so it'll freeze. In any case, constipation is a sign that something has been chronically getting into the digestive tract that the body doesn't want to have in it or the digestive tract doesn't want to have in it. Cheese and dairy are prime suspects. Gluten is a possibility. But you don't want to, you don't want to go into a, a, an assessment of what's happening in the digestive tract with preconceived ideas. You want to look at the foods you're daughter's eating before she gets constipated. We've, so keep keep a food diary. What have you found out? You, we've already, verified already that she has wheat and dairy allergies. So there you we, go. We've there taken those away. And uh, she's still constipated? Yes. Then you got to do some more work. Then you got to find out what else is going on in there. There's something else that's doing it. Now, if she's eight years old and she's in kindergarten or first grade or second grade, then she's probably doing stuff, you know, when you're not aware of what she's doing. So you got to monitor her closely. It's not a question. I'm going to give you some ideas of what you can give her in a positive sense. Uh, there's definitely things you can do, but it's more of a question of what you want to take away when she's constipated. So you got to keep very close attention, pay very close attention to what she's putting into her system. Great that you eliminated the dairy and the grains. Congratulations. That's very, very important and good job on that. But there's something else going on. Uh, now, as far as what you put into her system, fermented foods and probiotics. Get her on, uh, if you can get her to take capsules, get her on the, the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence. Have her do one or two, one or two capsules a day. You may want to try the uh, Z-Radical or the, Fu the Z-Radical for the kid is probably a little bit better, although it's not as potent as the Fucoid Z. If you're using the Longevity products, the Beyond Tangy Tangy can also be helpful. There's some magnesium in there that may help loosen her bowels. Magnesium in general is a good uh, nutritional supplement for kids and also has a relaxing effect. I'm sorry, go ahead. Can you give her too much of that? Uh, you, you. you know, you can go crazy with it, but if you're yeah. reasonable about it, it's difficult to give her too much. Like grind, up, grind up some flax seeds in the morning. Get yourself a coffee grinder, and then uh, uh, go get some organic flax seeds at Whole Foods. Hopefully you have a Whole Foods or a health food store somewhere there. And then grind up fresh flax seeds and sprinkle the powder on salads, in yogurt, or in smoothies, and that will also have a relaxing effect on the bowels. Between the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Magnesium, Pro 
probiotics, fiber every day in the form of ground up flax seeds, uh, and then also uh, uh, elimination of whatever the problems are. And, and it's great that you already started that process, but there's probably a few more things. Between all those strategies, that should definitely 100% take care of the constipation issues. And keep in mind, if she's constipated and reacting against foods, then she's also running higher risks for skin problems down the road, for diabetes down the road, for weight problems down the road, for adrenal health issues and immune health issues all down the road. So this is much more severe, or much more serious, I should say, than just a constipation issue. There are problems that could progress uh, further on down the road. And then there's also, of course, nutritional deficiencies that can be an issue. And there's the toxicity of keeping, uh, keeping um, uh, toxins in the digestive tract uh, in, the, in the large intestine for a long period of time. So there's lots of long-term uh, uh, implications to being constipated at the age of eight, and you really want to uh, get to the bottom of this, no pun intended. Is that good, Sean? Yeah, is, uh, what about vitamin C? Vitamin C is great. Uh, you, in fact, vitamin C can have some anti-constipation properties. The problem with using vitamin C as a laxative, though, is it might cause some gas or bloating or discomfort, but you may want to try a quarter teaspoon of vitamin C in a glass of water, an eighth of a teaspoon of vitamin C in a glass of water, especially if she has an emergency and she really needs to evacuate her bowels, but she can't. Using vitamin C in a medicinal or treatment or therapeutic fashion might be helpful. How many milligrams of that can... About a quarter teaspoon uh, to get yourself some vitamin C powder, uh, okay. ascorbic acid powder, and maybe do a quarter teaspoon or so. You said she's 60 pounds? How much did you say yeah, she was? Probably yeah, 60 yeah. Pounds, yeah, about a quarter teaspoon or so, and that can have like a therapeutic effect. And if you want to do even less, like an eighth of a teaspoon, spoonful on a regular basis or the beyond tangy tangerine actually is the best way for her to get her vitamin c okay okay all right all right good luck man take care Thank sean you. thanks for calling buddy all right judy in montana welcome to the bright side what's going on hi i'm hey. so glad i found you on uh, uh the radio with george last night that was oh great. was it good Oh, good. Thank yeah, you for saying that. I appreciate you. it. And so here I am. I have quite a number of problems. I'm 71. Okay. I'm at the point where I need to <clears throat> maximize my maintenance. Uh, okay. COPD, psoriasis. COPD, uh, you said? I'm sorry. COPD yeah. and psoriasis. Okay. Uh, what else? Problems with uh, gluten. Gluten, COPD, uh, psoriasis, gluten. They're all connected, by the way. Okay. What else? I know. And I can, I've got to find out the best way to make myself All right. the best I can. We're going to take care of you, Judy. Hang tight. we got to take a break, okay? Don't go away, and we'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 831-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you at 844-236-6010. We're talking to Judy in Montana. Judy, you there, ma'am? I'm here. Yes, so you I never, you, you haven't heard this program. This is your first, uh, first listen to the bright side? That's right. That's oh, right. good. Well, welcome. Welcome. We're here every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. We've got lots of stuff at the archive page at brightsideben.com. And also check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. I'll be doing all that. <laughs> okay, good deal. So you're 71 years old. You sound great. Yeah. Uh, just, just uh, you know, nothing exact, but just give me a sense, height to weight. Uh, Approximately. Four and a half, uh, one, 14, 15. Okay, good. okay, so here's the deal. Uh, gluten intolerance, you said gluten intolerance, you said COPD, and you said psoriasis. Uh, yeah. all, of, all of these are telling me that there's something percolating in your digestive system. COPD is oftentimes related to diabetes and related to fats. Psoriasis is related to the digestive system in terms of something getting into your gut through uh, leaky gut syndrome, through a leaks in the gut, and it can also involve fat metabolism. And the fact that you have a gluten intolerance tells me that you probably allergic to a lot of foods that you don't know about. Gluten is just one component. It's a family of compounds that are found in grains, but there's other things as well. So if you go gluten-free, but you're still eating other foods that contain gluten-like substances, you're not out of the woods. You still have a problem. This is why gluten is such a misleading term. Because you go to the health you go to the grocery store, the health food store, and you get your gluten-free foods, there's still other components in those foods that could be causing a problem. So 
So I'm not a psychic here, Judy, but I'm telling you, you got some constipation issues or loose stool issues, uh, probably constipation. Very likely you have some gas and bloating because they go together with the psoriasis and the gluten intolerance. Again, I'm not beating you up here. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'm telling you, these are, clu uh, these are clues for you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say I've maintained uh, through all this for 11 years, so I'm uh, doing a pretty good job, but I've got to stick around longer for my... Well, brain. yes. So, the, the, the COPD is a serious issue. It's associated, yeah. like I say, with metabolic or chemistry problems, usually involving blood sugar and very likely involving leaky gut syndrome and something getting into the blood. Do you have uh, sleep apnea or do you wake up in the middle of the night at all? Any issues like that? No. No, no. issues like that? You sleep no. good through the night? 